guys! So today I'm going to do a Molly Tarlov makeup tutorial for you. She plays Sadie Sexton in the series Awkward and she looks really beautiful in every episode. She usually wears a smoky eye and it's a really simple smoky eye because it's not too much and she wears it daily so during the day you don't want to wear a lot of makeup and her smoky eye is just the perfect daily smoky eye. That's why I wanted to recreate this one for you. And also, she doesn't really wear any uh, bronzer, but only blush. So it really gives her a um, really strawberry, cheeky kind of look. And also a bit of pink make pink um, lipstick or lip gloss. And it really suits her, and I think it's really elegant and pretty. So if you want to watch the tutorial, just keep watching. And thank you, Tart. I already put on some Chanel like Aqua Vital Lumia on my skin. Uh, this is my foundation that I use. Because Molly has really fair skin, I put some foundation on my face, not a lot. So it would be it will still look natural. And I put some concealer on the spots that I have, like this and this, to create a more fair skin because Molly has really fair skin and she only wears a bit of blush and she wears a daily smoky eye. And her smoky eye is really casual, but still really beautiful, and you can wear it every day. So let's recreate that. I'm going to start off with uh, my eyebrows, because she has pretty defined eyebrows. And I'm using my MAC eyebrow pencil. Just defining them, making them a bit more visible. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I'm, my girlfriends take pictures of me or when I'm on a holiday and there are pictures of me, I don't know how, but my eyebrows just disappear on the pictures. You cannot see them at all. Like, till up here you can see them and then that part is gone. So I like to give the last part a bit of more definition because it disappears on pictures. And when I'm standing in a spotlight or a really bright light, then it also tends to disappear. Just give it a little brush. Let's brush through it. It helps to look angry when you're brushing through your eyebrows. Well, that looks much better. Now I've got an um, eyeliner pencil from MAC. It's definitely black. And it's waterproof so when you are blending it with this one if you are using a waterproof eyeliner you have to immediately blend it out or else it's not blendable anymore so let's give it a try oh it's really nice so I'm using a brush that's on the end of my Chanel eyeliner actually and it's a blending brush. It's like a sponge, not a brush. And actually it hurts a bit. So just try to be gentle and blend it out really, really smooth. Hmm. But the, the sponge does a great job actually at blending things out as you can see. Yep, okay. Just go on to the next eye. Just draw a line. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are blending also things in. So blend from towards from here. You have to blend towards the outside. And here towards the inside. Because I don't want to go out. Because it's a subtle everyday kind of um, look that she wears so we don't want to go here and if you want you can even blend it with your finger but I suggest you blend it with a sponge or a brush yeah so the next step is we're gonna put some eyeliner um, here I don't know what it's called you call this one the upper lashes so these are the down lashes I don't know. Okay, let's start putting this here. I 
And remember, it doesn't have to be too much because it's a everyday kind of look. Okay, that's a bit too much. Let's take out some eyeshadow. I'm going to use this one. It's a bit of a sparkly gray one. We're going to use this one to uh, blend it in. So it gives a bit more of a definition. I'm just going to use a simple eyeshadow brush. Just taking out some big ones. Ooh, it's very silver. But I like it. And just blend it in. What I really like to do when blending, I like to make circles. So I just make circles like this. That looks nice. So I'm gonna use the 208 MAC brush. A lot of people use this for their eyebrows and it's perfect to use for your eyebrows. But I use it for um, here to put under my small lashes. And we're just going to put this grey tint here. Okay, now we're done. So I put some eyeshadow here. But not too much because it is our daily look. So let's take out our eyeliner pen for the last time. And we're going to draw a smooth line. I want it to stop here. I don't want to go towards the inside because it becomes more of a night look then. So let's just stop here. So you can see the difference now. This one is more popping and this has a fine line. So let's create an elegant second line. Please do not forget to breathe, it is important. Voila, it's finished. Let's create pretty eyelashes with a uh, Helena Rubinstein mascara. We're almost finished. Um, let's put on some brush, blush. I'm going to put on some uh, blush. This is H&M blush actually and I really love it because it's a really bright Pink. It looks like a strawberry. I'm gonna just put on something on my brush. The last step that I'm going to do is put on some uh, lip gloss. This is from Lancome, and it's it has a really nice pink color because Molly almost always wears a pink lipstick. So let's put some on. So I hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you for watching and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Bye, hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.